Hey, I know what. How about another one? Yep, your bullfrog is out and about again. Yep, going out again to see what I can bring you. As the Beatles once said, Bullfrog, doing it again, on a wet road. One more. Well, I got a free car wash out of it. How about one more quote from the Beatles? Why don't we do it in the road? Everybody else is. But once again, we're back on this road with a trash truck way up there. But fear not, I will be searching out some different routes. And once again, crossing this damn, never mind, watch my language, thing. Hope Route 222 is open. And apparently it is, complete with new traffic lights. Brand new signal there. Which, it just caught me. Can I make a right on a red? Gonna do it anyway. Back in the 80s, this road still had, had a concrete surface from the 30s. But they paved it over. And once again, Port deposit with mail truck. Oh, well, they're moving. Okay. I'm thinking today is a weekday. It's Tuesday afternoon. Like a 60s song. Oh, that's the mail lady. Okay. <laughs> Better not move quite yet. Oh, thank you. He let me through. Thanks a lot. Yep, your frog doesn't often get courtesy like that. We're just on a route from Baltimore to Philadelphia up ahead. Which I'll turn left and take towards Philadelphia. But not all the way there, though. I've taken you all the way there before. I believe it was December of 2016 when it brought you this way from Baltimore to Philly. Video still posted. To the right was a former naval station, Bainbridge. And there was a rail siding up here someplace I ran to it, off of the main line. It crossed up here somewhere, but I can't remember where. Someplace here once crossed the rail spur. Really tough to figure out right now. At first they built these railroads, then they wipe them out. How come? Ain't that a waste? Anything up here? No, I can't tell. I might have already passed it. So far near rail spur, now we're beyond Bainbridge. I guess they really erased it out rather thoroughly. Just like the Ma and Pa. Up here I'll turn right and keep on the original route for a bit longer. Hey, why not? I guess at one time the road's all lined up, 
but not anymore. Used to light up out of the right, obviously. Old surface there. But now officially back on it with one more trash truck. I guess I hear Tuesday is trash day. I guess it's official. My video is trash. Oh, I can get around. Okay, good. All right. My video isn't trash anymore. All right. I know a lot of you out there thinking, no comment. Not a bad day though. Temps in the lower 50s. But tomorrow will be freezing. A lot of snow melting though, producing these puddles. What do you do? Whatever snow you might see fell last week. But they got more snow north of Baltimore than we did. Coming to something here. I'm trying to figure out where I am. I figured it out. Now on Route 272. And our first time on this part of 272. So you're seeing this for the first time, just as I am. I think. Just crossed the state lines. Now we're north of the border. Got a wet road, but as I said, I get a free car wash out of it. I'm now passing through Nottingham Village. And now turning on to the original US-1. This is the old, old road. Old road there. Old, old road here. Confused? And the old, old road crisscrosses the old road. Which is here again. In fact, still called Baltimore Pike. You're back on Route 1, kind of, sort of. At least we're on a different one. Whatever. Interesting stuff along here, though. On these now disused roads. Again, about to cross the current route. And the pier, your favorite and mine, the Atararo Secondary. The part of it that still runs. If they took it up in Maryland, but a PA it still runs. About uh, once or twice a month or something. I guess they serve the hers potato chip plant in Nottingham. And again the secondary. We crisscrossed that too. But now back on the previous US-1, the old road, after getting off the old, old road. And now we're entering Oxford. To keep on the original route, you turn right and then left. So here's my right. Before going any further, I can use the Octorero Secondary, looking south, and over this direction, Oxford Station, once served by two railroads, the Penn Line, which is what the Octorero Secondary is now, or was, 
MLONS, Lancaster, Oxford, and Southern. These letters occasionally stood for something else. I can't repeat here. Oh, and by the way, just had to throw that in. Anyway, secondary again, if I got it. Back on old US-1 again. And up ahead again, the secondary. But it hardly runs. I guess now it's tertiary, if even that. Gonna pick it up northbound. Ooh, a nice snowy farm there. And the road's still wet, so I got one more car wash. Again, snow melting on the road. But we have some semi interesting lighting though. Well, semi-interesting. But I guess our next hot spot will be Strasbourg. How about that? I said, how about that? Well, don't all shout at once. And again, a part of this road, I don't see very much of. Problem is, if you take as many drives as I've taken... Oh look, Amish. Something's amiss here, obviously. But as I was saying, the problem is if you've taken as many rides as I have, you run out of places to go. I don't know where to go next. I'm out of places. I'll find something. Hello. And once again. And again. Must be the season. But now on a part of the road I have seen before. Oh well. A little deja vu here. And here's a place called Georgetown. Oop, gotta keep right to stay on the road. But a little ways back, past a place called Bullfrogs. It's not mine though. And up here slowing down for another Amish wagon on our side of the road this time. In front of that big truck up there. The truck got around. Now we have to. Am I coming the other way? No, here goes. the Strasbourg area now, but due to time constraints and daylight constraints, I can't go into Strasbourg proper, but we're in the vicinity. Could I try and find US-30 and take it over to I-83? Here it is at the light. 
About to go west on US 30. And now we are. But this part of the road has all the tourist traps on it. So you gotta watch out. Especially during the summertime. The Cartoon Network Hotel. That's different. All these theme parks that can't run. Dutch Wonderland. Whoa. You all saw that. It was unprovoked. They say we have a friend in Pennsylvania, but that must not have been them. Must be somebody else. And now pick it up the rerouted US 30 around some hot spots. And we'll be on this road from here to I 83. Apparently, much traffic on this Tuesday afternoon. I'm just beginning to see. Now I'm on my way. Doesn't matter to me. Chasing these clouds away. Uh, apparently now, got some sun out there. But anyway, I've had a negative COVID test. And I've been self-quarantining for about a month and a half. So I'm here legally. There you go. again, semi-interesting lighting. And now, be crossing the Susquehanna. I tried to get to see a PD line down there, but I couldn't. in place in our shoe house. I took it there a couple of years ago. Now we're in the York area. And up here, Interstate 83. Guess which way we're going. I bet you never guess. And now we're on it. Heading south. And up here we cross say we're the northern central somewhere. Well beneath this bridge, but I can't get it. Maybe. And apparently they're still fixing things through here. They're not done yet. I guess getting paid by the hour. The place I've shown you many times. Good old Glen Rock. Even here in Shrewsbury, things are still being worked on. As I said, getting paid by the hour. And up here, we cross back into Maryland. We still got miles to go though. And now it's official. Maryland. A big deal. I 
22 miles, 26.95. 23 minutes. We'll be back in about 30 minutes. Back in the hood. And now the sun starts to set as we head back to the city. But first, I'm gonna pass through suburbia and get back into Urbia. And then we're back in the hood. Once again, folks, thank you for the privilege of your time. More to come, hopefully. We'll make it a good year. Your bullfrog will be out there again, bringing in more. Thank you very much.